Welcome to the Youth Academy RTG. We are the penultimate episode of the season and looking to seal promotion. It probably won't happen today with regards to automatic unless we're able to get a victory against Derby. We do play them later today. We start with last season's relegated championship side Blackpool. Then it's Derby at home which will be a huge game to get three points in. Forest Green away will be simmed, and then it's Oxford at home to round us out today before Rovers, Exeter and Pompey, another one of the relegated sides from the Championship last year, to play at the end of the season. The situation is very tight at the minute for the title, for automatic promotion or dropping out of the playoffs. We are quite comfortable in the playoffs with 11 points the gap down to Rotherham in seventh. But it could go any which way in these final few games. And I really don't know which way to call it. We haven't even been able to decide what striker to play more often than not. Let alone been able to push and get the results that we feel like we need. Our form has been decent though. We're unbeaten in a short while. But we've been drawing as many as we've been winning. Three wins, three draws from our last six games. And we've not been scoring that readily either actually if you look at that. Two against Accrington, two against Barnsley, and only one against Bolton and Lincoln. None against Port Vale and only one against uh, Northampton as well. So we need to improve in front of goal. With regards to the board objectives, our uh, manager favour, so to speak, is actually pretty strong. We're doing most. I haven't signed one crucial forward, but that's not something we're looking to do. And we're not going to make the profit needed there either. But we are certainly fighting for promotion and we'll tick that one. So I have no problems whatsoever with regards to not reaching the uh, the board objectives for this season. With regards to fan objectives, we, as you see here, could take some more points from Derby County. But we can only get to a maximum of seven there as we lost to Cambridge in one of the Chesnoy derbies. Uh, we hopefully, well no, we're certainly, with only seven games to go, going to be completing Wayne's objective of less than 15 league defeats this season, which is great. No perfect hat-trick, despite being two-thirds of the way twice this season. Six goals from set pieces so far this year, despite good goal-scoring form throughout the season, all told. There's not been many from set pieces. We haven't really trailed that often, and when we have, only once have we been able to turn it around into a winning position. But if we can get points, uh, at least avoid defeat against Derby, sorry, against Blackpool in the first game today, then we will complete the objective from TJ. And I obviously would like to get three points if we can to help with challenging for the title. So the season is laid out in front of us. The prizes are there for the taking. We just need to grab them. Joaquin Navarrete in goal for Blackpool. They're not a terrible side and they have a an agreeable squad to be fair. The majority are about 70 rated. So it is, it is a strong squad for the league. But they're not having a great season, unfortunately, for them. Thompson inside to Abraham. Well blocked. Oh, no. Well blocked initially. But Blackpool find themselves very lucky indeed. And their lavery gives them a 1-0 advantage here, man. Starting up top at 72 rated. Our Lavery still on the bench for the time being as the home fans get sent into raptures here in front of the away fans. They get lucky multiple times in the build-up and they take an early lead. Actually, there might be some space there for Edwards to get forward now with their fullback having pushed forward. If I can find the right ball looking for Salinas and then change direction well, we could be in. Now he's left-footed Salinas, so I'm going to try and get on that left. And then power in and equaliser was the next step. See Samaras in the middle. Can we get it to Kai? We can. Can Kai do something with it? What a stop. That's the best chance we've had all game. And it's the best save we've seen all game as well. Outrageous from the Blackpool man between the sticks. The goalkeeper comes up with a worldy save. And Kai Connick. No matter how much I train him. No matter how long he spends practicing. He just cannot play a decent pass at the right time. So, we'll try and get him to finish instead. With seconds to go, Kai needs to bury this. And has. We rescue what could be a vital point away from home at Bloomfield Road. 
and Kai is the man once more. Literally last kick of the game other than the kickoff. And Blackpool might feel hard done by. But I can't help but say we deserved that. Very much so. Only the three shots that we had. But our overall play was brilliant. But we just couldn't find that final pass. And two clear cut opportunities at the end. One of which taken, one of which not. We'll take the point that will complete the fan objective for taking points off of the relegated sides from the championship last season but we do need to start games better we need to ensure that we get wins next time and one against derby next time out would go a long way to helping us Thank get promoted so to the championship next season derby county our local rivals of course joe wildsmith in goal for them robert Kayson up top again we drew with them last time we played them i think we beat Cambridge, we lost to Cambridge, we've drawn with Derby and now we go again to try and get victory against Derby County for the first time this season. Our local rivals, big game this at home at Patreon Park. Kennedy gets the start today for the first time in a little while. Lavery also looking in there for Tom Edwards. Found well. Kennedy, they hit hands but play will continue here. Samaras. And Morris. And around the outside is Boyle. And in the middle again is Morris. Calm as you like. Really nonchalantly just stroked home from Isaac Morris. And our scout future star is in a starring role. <laughs> Couldn't have asked for a better start against our local rivals, could we? Knight. Sibley. Saved by Richardson and corner denied by Barry Knox. Even though it looked like he might actually have crossed the line there. Richardson is up to 72 now. So he's growing since we've brought him back to the club. Which is fantastic of course. Nice touch by Kennedy and he's beaten his man. And he'll look to play Edwards through. Tom Edwards in to finish Derby off in this second half. Finesse shots don't work with low rated players. They just don't. You've got to lace it. Otherwise you have no luck whatsoever. Especially with these sliders. Need higher rated players. We've scored a couple of absolutely fantastic finishes with finesses in the Southampton save with higher rated players. But dearie me, doesn't quite work for us in this save, does it? Edwards laces it. And even then still, he can't find the target over the bar. He could have had two in two minutes, Tom Edwards. But it's still only 1-0 at half time. So at half time, Barnsley are losing to Rotherham, which is a massive result. That would see us extend our lead at the top of the table, not only over Derby in third, but Barnsley in second and would put us in a strong position for the title, let alone just automatic promotion. We were able to seal the title on the final day last season, although we were run all the way by Bolton. This time we might, provided we can hold on to victory here and Barnsley continue to lose there, we might be able to put ourselves into a position to win the title a game from the end, which would be fantastic to lift it in front of our own fans. Because the final game of the year is actually away from home at Fratton Park against Portsmouth. And I'd like as many AFC Chesnoid fans to be at the game as physically possible when it comes to the moment of us sealing our promotion and the title for the lift. We need everything to stay as is and then to do well in our remaining games. So far, the stars are aligning. Away. And way. We've won the game by a goal to nil. We are victorious against Derby, which takes our tally for the, uh, for the fan objectives to seven of eight. But unfortunately, does mean we will not complete that one fan objective. Still got a couple of others that are available to be, uh, to be done. And certainly the... League defeat one will be successful, but a couple of others still waiting to go w either which way. Now, have Barnsley lost? That's what we need to know. That's what I'm desperate to find out here. And they have by two goals to one to Rotherham. Right, driving seat. We've got one hand not only on the trophy, but also... No, not only on promotion, but also on the trophy. Four points the gap to Barnsley now. Uh, well, if Sunderland can get a win in their game in hand and Derby as well, to be fair, the gap will still only be three at the top. 
We have Forest Green away upcoming, and that will be our next simulated game. We'll go to the press match, uh, pre-match press conference, sorry. Boost morale a bit, and we'll go again. Forest Green away, the side that, quite frankly, in real life, were not cut out for life in League One. In this save, they are relegation threatened as well. I've fielded the same team that we did in the last game against Derby. So the changes that we made to bring Kennedy and Lavery in are maintained for this game, rather than the regular starting 11 that only scraped a draw against Blackpool. Don't change a winning team is the adage. And we haven't. And hopefully we'll win again. And friggin' painful by the looks of things as well. Not as painful as conceding to relegation-threatened Forest Green, however. Mukairo gets the rebound off the post and away from home against one of the worst sides in the league. We fall behind. Is it to be a late equaliser again? Edwards into the middle. Connick's effort is on target and is the last action of the game. We lose by a goal to nil. Derby win. I didn't see Barnsley there. Or Sunderland at a glance. Forgot to look for Sunderland, to be fair. Barnsley did win. Barnsley are up to 80. And Sunderland and Derby can both join us on 81 if they win their game in hand. Now, our goal difference is five better than Barnsley and significantly better than Derby. But Sunderland will close it to within at least two, if not less than, if they do win that game in hand. We have a game now against Oxford just two days later. Thanks to the Easter weekend. Oh, we need to not lose this one. Thank you for your patience. We need to not even draw this one. We've got to get a win. Nothing else will be good enough. Edward McGinty in goal for Oxford as they've come north from uh, Oxfordshire to come and play us here in Nottinghamshire. Odonkor is their front man. Brown and Corb either side of him. They were quite tired after their previous game, so have had to rotate a little bit, although... They're quite similar to us, whereas they have some players that are in the backup that are good enough to step in and still do a job. We obviously are on the back of the defeat to Forest Green. It's been a bit of an iffy episode, hasn't it? It's not quite gone as well as we might have hoped, but it certainly could have gone a lot worse. If we'd have lost to Blackpool as well, then that would have been devastating. And if we hadn't been able to get a result against Derby, then we'd have been even more upset. So to have had a win... A draw and a defeat so far is all right, provided we win this one too. So three points here, and I'm still happy going in towards the season finale. But it, that is dependent on us winning this particular game. A Doncourt. William Barry. Good lad, Baz. Oxford press just doesn't work for them. Hasn't worked once yet. Keep trying it when they lose possession. It is not working, even remotely well at all. Barry with the delivery. And there is Kai Connick. Come the moment, come the man. On the volley, first time, unstoppable, slammed home. AFC Chesnoid 1, Oxford United 0. And that was a really good goal. And Samaras Castro is there. Salinas is there. Trying his best to work the shot on his left foot. Because that left foot can finish. 2-0 at home against Oxford United and putting ourselves in a really strong position to win promotion early doors in tomorrow's season finale and hopefully the title too. Kai. Oh, was trying to get it to Castro and couldn't, but Edwards is here. Oh, the scoop turns work brilliantly. The cross is really good. Salinas! It's three! What a dominant performance in this first half against Oxford United. That is the stuff of league winners. That was a brilliant goal. I'm really pleased with that one. I don't know if you can tell. Hutchison and Kennedy made four changes at halftime. So comfortable are we in this game so far. And so vital might those players be come the end of the season for us that we're just going to give them the chance to have a rest. And those that have come on are going to do the job as well. Oxford are so bad. You saw how horrible a time I had trying to break down Derby and Blackpool. And we just ripped Oxford apart at will, it seems. Kennedy into Logan Brown. Skips past the man and finds the top corner. That didn't take long. 4-0. Brannigan 
Down to Steve Seddon. Brown to Adonko. Flattened by Mitch Backer, but legally flattened. It's not normally something that you say. Clark forward to Brown. Bit of a poor ball, but that's fine. Castro with the run of Edwards on the wing. Castro's going to go again. Go on, son. Well, actually, look, Logan Brown's in again. Is it five? Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's not. That's a great ball. Keeper's going to come and he's not going to get there. Ah, fair play. I took the risk calling the keeper out. It didn't work. It was a, a heavy ball and had I reacted perhaps a little bit quicker with Richardson, he could have got there. Never mind. 4-1 here against Oxford United. I still don't think our overall result is at risk and our goal difference was better than everybody else around us anyway. And as such, I don't think... A three-goal win rather than a four-goal win is actually going to make any difference to our outcome at the end of the season. Nicely down the line. Seddon. And into Jun Jin Wu. I've nailed someone there. And the referee didn't even give it a second glance. Absolutely fouled someone there. In the most obvious way you've ever seen. Not even near the ball. Boyle looking for Brown. Not the best of balls, actually. A little bit under hit. Boyle and Brown will link up once more. Brown will send through Rory Kennedy. And you know it isn't your day when Rory Kennedy scores against you. 5-1. We lead at home. The four-goal lead is restored. The man that can't shoot scores. Ming Shan. Pulled back to Carbonell. They've got 30 seconds to cause themselves less embarrassment. But if there was anything that summed up Oxford United's performance today in that game. It was that cross, quite simply, disjointed and nowhere near good enough. The way the players are celebrating here, I believe that result guarantees us a playoff spot. Rory Kennedy with one of the five. That's how you know you've had a bad day, as we say. I think that's guaranteed us a playoff spot. It's a fantastic performance. We only had seven shots. It's just the majority of them were clear cut and went in. Barnsley win against Plymouth. So it's important that we did get a win against Oxford. And I think, I think I'm happy enough with how the episode went as a whole. Obviously, it would have been nice to get something against Forest Green. But we weren't quite able to do that. But not to worry. We sit top of the table by a point with three games to go. However... Still, Derby and Sunderland and Bolton, who came up with us last year. Bolton, all of us have the opportunity to still get automatic promotion. If they can win their games in hand, Derby, Sunderland and Bolton, it will be 84, 83, 82, 81, 81 with three games to go. This automatic promotion fight, let alone the title race, is absolutely not over. Bristol Rovers, Exeter City and Portsmouth in the season finale tomorrow, which absolutely is not to be missed. We could win the league. We could not get promoted at all. We could end up in the playoffs. But we are guaranteed a playoff spot now with that last result. MK Don's on 72. And with nine points remaining now for Rotherham, they can't catch us and knock us out of the playoff spots with that previous round of fixtures so Rotherham would have lost wheel of one the gap was 11 with 12 available it's now 14 with nine available it didn't go well for Rotherham that weekend it has gone relatively well for us this weekend but season finale time will be in the next one please make sure you subscribe to the channel with a notification bell ticked and you definitely won't miss it of course hit the uh, like button as well to show support for the save and really help push the content to new people and I very much appreciate it Hopefully, I can justify your support by winning the league next year. or well, this year. Christ, we're not going to win it next year if we go up. Certainly won't be challenging for automatic promotion in the championship, I don't think. Not yet, anyway. Let's get there, though, shall we? I'll see you tomorrow.